What's up guys, Hong Nguyen, OG Fitness. Today's video, we're gonna talk about DKU and Bruce Lee. Would these two guys been able to hang with uh, the MMA monsters of today? This video is actually inspired by another video from another channel called Mind Smash, which is essentially a channel where he talks about uh, martial arts and he breaks down a lot of fights and techniques and all kinds of cool stuff, you know, so it's a pretty good channel. I haven't watched this video yet, but I'm making a video on this subject because I figure, hey, I, I got my opinion on this because I recently made a video uh, about DK Yo uh, and uh, what I thought about him and, and, and the so-called beef I have with him, right? Because he essentially said that uh, uh, he never heard of Bruce Lee until the age of like 25 and he just made everything up and uh, you know, so I, I, don't, I don't believe he was honest in that. When I fell on this video regarding if uh, DK Yo and Bruce Lee would be able to hang with, uh, you know, the MMA guys of today, uh, I said, hey, yeah, I want to give my two cents on this. DK Yo, short answer, no, I don't think so. I think he's, yes, he's fast, he's athletic, but his skill set in itself, it's, it's very, um, and, and from what I've seen, I mean, it's very, it can, in theory, work, but I believe that um, he's not that skilled because I saw him in uh, the sparring videos there uh, that I mentioned in the other video and uh, he essentially sucks. Bruce Lee be able to hang with these guys? Yes, I think so. Would he win? I don't think so. So, what, and, and I'm gonna put this into context. And this is something that I heard Bass Rutten. Bass Rutten is a big MMA guy, a legend in the sport. And um, very, uh, very smart guy too, very analytical. Uh, and he's funny as hell too. So, he said this once in an interview, I think it was Inside MMA. And he said, if you were to, and I agree with this 100%, and it makes a lot of sense. If, you, if Bruce Lee would just pop up from the dead right now, at his current skill set, right? He would probably lose against, uh, you know, the MMA, MMA guys of today. Now, why is that? Well, he's not, um, it's, the tech, it's, a, it's a technology thing. Think of Bruce in his time, he was super advanced in terms of his training methodology, his philosophy, and his skill set. I mean, he, he was just naturally fast and super strong too at the same time. In terms of all the training and everything behind it and all the rule set, right? then if he, he wasn't trained for that, and, the techno and, and we know a lot more about, uh, about training and fighting uh, now than we do uh, back in Bruce's day. So if Bruce would just pop up now, throw him in an MMA match, right, with some, in his weight category, well, Bruce was light, man. He was like 130 pounds or stuff like that. So that's the division, essentially. He didn't have any fat, so he wouldn't have to cut anything. You could do water cut, but yeah, whatever. Okay, let's just call him that, about 135. He would go into that division and he would lose because those guys are, are, they have more technology, so to speak. So when I say technology, I mean the methods, the training, the, uh, the understanding is a little more advanced. You take Bruce and you give him some time, pick up everything he has to pick up in terms of grappling and uh, understanding the rule set and, uh, and all that and then strategizing so that he could go into the cage and go three rounds or five rounds he would do very, very, very well, very well because he was essentially like a, a genius, you know, when it comes to philosophy, combat, like just the way he saw things and the way he approached it. It was, uh, he pioneered all of this stuff, right? Mixed martial arts and all. I've seen videos of uh, Bruce Lee sparring, right, in a demonstration with pads and all that. But you could tell, like, yeah, he's he could he could actually fight. Whereas with uh, DKU, um, yeah, well, let's not uh, let's not beat a dead horse to death there. Let's say you would uh, back up a couple of years, right? So he would be younger, uh, you know, in his uh, let's say early twenties or uh, mid early twenties, thirties, whatever. Then uh, yeah, I'd still think, I, I think the, the guy's essentially a fraud. So no, he wouldn't. Uh, he would get his ass kicked so bad. So that's my opinion on uh, on whether. DK Yo and uh, DK and, and Bruce. So let me know what you guys think down below and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. So thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and click on the notification bell. Also, there's a link down below. If you guys click on it, it's gonna bring you to a page where you could follow me on all my social media platforms and you can also apply for, uh, for coaching so that you guys can work directly with me. Also, one last thing guys, if you have any questions, right, send me an email. That's the best way to reach me. I read them and I'll, I'll answer your, your questions, man. All right, peace.